No way. Did the Bible declare these seven to be deacons? That's adding That's right. to the word of God. That's right. But remember, it is written that mightily grew. And the word, of God increased. the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. That means more souls came in the church. That's right. As a result of ordaining these men. That's right. The word of God increased. 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 We, we, that more was able to carry the message being taught to them That's right. by the apostles. That's right. <clears throat> now, I want you to focus on Philip. Philip. And I'm going to show you what Philip was. That's right. And this will let us know what they were ordained. Acts chapter 21, we're at verse 8. Follow me, follow me, mm -hmm. follow me in your Bible. Get your Bible now. Hey, deep, hey, deep. Come on now. That's right. Get your Bible. That's right. All right. Acts chapter 21, and we're at verse 8. Yeah. And the next day, we that were of Paul's company departed, uh -huh. and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. Now I want you to get this. Mm -hmm. We entered into the house of Philip. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. Philip the Evangelist. Which was one of the seven. Which was one. Of the seven. Of the seven. And a He was him. one of the seven that was ordained. That's right. And what did the Bible said Philip was? Philip the Evangelist. <laughs> Amen. Which was one of the seven. Philip the what? Philip the evangelist. That's why the word of God increased. Increased. Because they all went out spreading That's right. the gospel of God. That's right. Philip was one of the seven. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist. Who was he? Which was one of the seven. And what was he? The Philip the evangelist. And who was he? Which was one of the seven. What was he? Philip the evangelist. Who was he? Which was one of the seven. That's right. They were evangelists. Amen. That debunks the hundreds of years, hundreds of, years. of lives. Amen. That trickled down from Europe. That's right. That's right. Or is that God? This is what I've been telling you. The Catholics has influenced religion so much until the European version of so-called truth and is not truth, but the European version of truth. Right. Is in the churches and the, and the preachers think it's Bible and it's not. That's right. That's right. Everybody that been taught that the seven in the sixth chapter of Acts, Acts. were the first deacons right. of the church mm -hmm. that lie must be thrown out the church. That's right. That's right. Hey Amen. Throw it out. That's right. Yeah. I used to believe that. Yeah. And when God opened my understanding, I had to come back and repeat again. Yeah. So I don't mind getting right. That's right. You know why? That's right. Me and hell don't have good relations. You know, me and hell, plainly putting it, we're not cool. Not, that's right. Me and hell don't get along. No. Amen. No. I'm not a friend to hell, and hell ain't a friend to me. No, me neither, Pastor. I want hell to stay away from me. That's right. I mean, if it's going to be around, go that way. That's <laughs> Hello. Williams is that way. <laughs> <laughs> is that all right, Williams? No, it's not all right. Glory to God. <laughs> now, I want you to hear me. Amen. When you're too big of a bishop, too popular of an elder, yeah. too popular and the people have put you too high. That's right. Until now... You're too proud to make a correction. Amen. Your arrogance, yes. get me now, will be your downfall. That's right. Because viewers, you can't deny the fact. Every so-called Christian denomination yeah. believe that the sixth chapter of Acts yep. 
are the first seven deacons mm -hmm. of the church. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men. And it's, it's strange. It doesn't matter what so-called Christian denomination they are. Mm -hmm. All of them believe these are the first deacons of the church. That's right. That's right. All of them believe this. Yeah. And the Bible have never said that. No. No. Let's come back to the Bible. That's right. Let's come back to the Bible. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of how, honest report. How many men? Seven men. Now let's go back and see what Philip was. Acts chapter 21 and verse 8. And we entered into the house of Philip. We came into Philip's house. Into the house of Philip the evangelist. And who was he? Which was one of the seven. And what did the sixth chapter of Acts say? Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. And go back to Acts again. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist. What was Philip? Which was one Philip the evangelist. What was Philip? Philip the evangelist. Evangelist. What was Philip? Philip the evangelist. And who was it? Which was one of the seven. One of the seven. So when the apostles ordained them. Amen. They went out That's declaring right. this message. And the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. All right. Amen. That straightens out that myth. That's right. right. That's right. So there's no way in the Bible that gives a number. That's it. That's of how many deacons was in the church. That's I don't know. No. In the book of Philippians chapter 1. Says what? And at verse 1. Yes. Paul and Timothy is the servants of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. To all the saints in Christ Jesus which are at Philippi. Yes. With the bishops. With the bishops. And deacons. And deacons. That's it. That's right. That's it. No number. No number. Oh, no. Amen. Here, here viewers. Here viewers. Here viewers. Amen. So if any church bragging and say, we got seven deacons like the apostles, you got some the apostles didn't have. That's right. We don't know how many deacons they had. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Philippians chapter 1, we're at verse 1. Says what? Paul and Timothy is the servants of Paul Jesus Christ. Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ. To all the saints in to Christ Jesus which are at Philippi. all the saints Amen. of Christ Jesus that is in Philippi. With the bishops. With the bishops. And deacons. And deacons. Grace be unto you and peace. Grace be unto you. Amen. And peace. How many? We don't know. How many? That's right. Don't know. We don't know. It could have been a thousand. We don't know. That's right. That's right. We don't know. It could have been ten. We don't know. That's right. It could have been five or seven hundred. We don't know. Amen. So we're gonna leave it as plural deacons. Deacons. And then knock off. That's right. All right, Deke. Yeah. I want you to follow me, Mr. Deacon and Bishop, who ordained you. Amen. Your qualifications, get me. Yeah. It's in the book of Timothy. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 8. I want every deacon, every bishop, every churchgoer mm -hmm. to follow me tonight mm -hmm. as we strike this out with Bible. That's right. All right, listen at this now. First Timothy chapter 3 and we're at verse 8. Yes. Likewise must the deacons be grave. Likewise. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you get the deacon. Yes. Go up to verse 1. Verse 1. Because when it says likewise, obviously something was already being preached. That's right. And by the time Paul got to the deacon, he saw that the deacons yes. had to measure up to what he was preaching. That's right. That's why when he said likewise. Likewise. In other words, I'm not finished with the message. That's right. I'm just moving to another office. That's right. That the brothers got to fulfill. Amen. And that office must be in like manner. That's it. Likewise That's mean, just like the office I just got finished explaining to you. That's it. This next office have to be likewise. Likewise. That's right. Now do you get me? Wonderful. Oh, I want to take my time and put this message on cruise control. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. First, we're going to work on the office mm. and the qualifications mm. of a bishop. My Lord. Then we'll pick up mm. likewise. Likewise. All right, get me now. 1 Timothy chapter 3, we're at verse 1. This, yes. This is a true saying. Everything else is a lie. If a man desires the office of a bishop. Everything else is a lie. This is a true saying. The moment saying. says this is a true saying. Everything else is a lie. That's right. That what? If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. So if a woman is a bishop, it's a lie. That's right. Because this, the Bible says. This is a true saying. And what is the true saying? If a man desires the office of a bishop. 
he desires a good work. The moment a woman get ordained a bishop, that's not a true saying. That's a lie. That's right. Because the Bible says. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. You see how the language of the Bible harmonizes? Oh, yes. You see, I love the detail of things because people just read. And a lot of times the preachers just read behind the reader that's and true. they don't explain nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. I want right. to explain it. Break it down. Strip it back. Amen. So you don't take off running. You don't need to go get in the spirit now. No, just wait. <laughs> just wait. Just wait now. That's right. Because they were, they caught, this is the true saying right this here. This is a true saying. Hey, all you women bishops out there, you're liars. Amen. The bishop that ordained you is a liar. Yeah. I want you to hear this, church of God in Christ. Amen. I want you to hear this, church of God in prophecy. Right. I want you to hear this, church of the living God. That's I right. want you to hear this, many of you apostolics. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this, many of you so-called Pentecostals and evangelical frauds. This is a true saying. This. This is a true saying. You know, I don't believe nothing. No, you don't. But what's written here. That's right. I don't believe nothing. That's right. Glory to God pointing to the church, but what's written here. That's right. Because it's written whatsoever things were written aforetime. Yeah. Thank God it's written for our learning. And Jesus died and come back. And when he came to his apostles, then opened he their understanding. That's right. Amen. That they might understand Amen. the scriptures. So the apostles had the understanding of Jesus. That's right. Right. So good. So right. Yeah. Until Paul didn't walk with him in the flesh, but he walked with him in the spirit. That's right. That's right. And the word of God says. This is a true saying. All right. So you that are watching. Anything else now? Amen. Anything. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a junior bishop. If, the, if a man desire the office of a bishop. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Junior bishop. Uh, the office of a bishop. What kind of saying is this? This is a true saying. You a junior bishop? You are? Amen. <laughs> You's a liar. That's a lie. That's right. That's not a true saying. That's right. That's the that's saying of your organization. Amen. That's man made, junior Amen. bishop. Hey, junior bishop. Your office is just as real as a $3 bill. That's right. And you got Obama face on the money. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Everybody know that ain't happening. That's right. Obama faces on the front, and Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Porky Pig is on the back. My Lord. Amen. Amen. That's counterfeit. That's counterfeit. Oh, I'm going to make it hard for you. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. Come on, sir. This is a true saying. This. Amen. You see, it's so much in one statement here. Yes, it is. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. All right. Here you ordain someone. Who says they don't know what they are, man or woman? Mm. My Lord. But the word of God is precise. This is a true saying. If a man. Not if a queer. If a man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Not an LGBTQRST UVW. No, 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 no. If a man. If a queer. If a man. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is a true saying. This is true. Amen. Glory to God. You know, I love to see the ingredients of the goodness. Wonderful. If a man desire the office of a bishop, what is it? He desires a good work. Now, the office of a bishop is a good work. It's a good work. The bishop is an elder. That's right. I want to say, well, I was an elder first, then I got ordained a bishop later. You've been took. That's right. You've been bamboozled. bamboozled. You've been had. That's right. That's just like I give you five dollars, mm -hmm. and then uh, later on I give you, I take my five dollars back, mm -hmm. and then I give you five ones. <laughs> That's right. And you thought you got more money. That's right. No, we still had five. Still at five. I want to show you in the Bible mm -hmm. that the office. Of a bishop mm -hmm. is the same That's right. as an elder. That's right. And then I'm going to show you how you get that office. In the book of Titus chapter 1. And we'll start at verse 5. Follow me. For this cause left I the entreat. Paul was an apostle mm -hmm. made by hands of heaven. Mm -hmm. 
For this cause left I thee and create that thou should have set in order the things that are wanted. That thou should set in order, Paul teaching Titus. Right. You put things in order that the people want. And ordain elders in every city as ordain I, what? Ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. Amen. What? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. Yes. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife having faithful children, not accused of right or unruly. At verse 7, for a bishop must be blameless. Wait a minute. Amen. But what did he say go ordain? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. But what did he call the office? For a bishop must be blameless. Somebody said when they said ordain elders in every city, Paul was instructed him to just ordain old men, you fool. That's a fool. That's a fool. Paul wasn't being, being given out instructions just to go around ordain senior citizens. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Even the Apostle Paul, the Bible said there was a young man. Amen. Uh, uh, when they were stoning Stephen and they laid the raiment at the feet of a young man. That's right. By the name of Saul. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here he was told to ordain elders. That's right. But then he began to itemize the qualification of those elders. And what did he call them? For a bishop must be blameless. Wonderful. We'll get more of that later. Let's go back, back. to the book of Timothy. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and right verse 2. So when you're a bishop, you're an elder. That's right. Amen. I don't know if you're an elder. And here in the next convention coming around, the bishop say he's giving you a promotion. Mm -hmm. And you went from elder to bishop. <laughs> No, I gave you five dollars, took it back, and I gave you five ones. That's it. We still have five. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I know you're disappointed now <laughs> because you thought you was getting something. Yeah. A bishop is an elder, and an elder is a bishop. That's right. And a bishop must be appointed by the apostle. I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. But I want to forget the deacons. All right. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Listen. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, yes. he desires a good work. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh, he must be blameless. The husband of one wife. Oh, so you that got more than one wife, get out your pulpit. That's right. You say you're a bishop and you don't divorce your first wife and said the Lord gave you your second. You trade your second one in. Now you said the anointing came over you three o'clock one Tuesday morning and God showed you your third. And now you're about to trade your third one in because the spirit of the devil came out of your bathroom and came into your heart uh, on Friday evening about 4.06. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. The word of God said. A bishop then must be blamed. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. Because Paul wasn't married. That's right. But if you are married, how many wives? The husband of one wife. This is a true saying. You got it? Hey, 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 mm -hmm. hey, Bishop. You got more than one wife? Amen. You do? Hmm. You say he, then get out the pulpit. That's right. Get out the pulpit now. That's right. Any bishop that's leading a congregation or pastoring and you are in a state of divorce yeah. with a second companion, Amen. you're not a bishop. No. You're not a preacher. No. Yeah. A bishop then must be blameless. The what is God talking? That's right. The must be blameless. And if you got a second wife, you ain't blameless. You're blamed. That's right. That's right. You got a third wife, your first wife still living? Yeah. You're not blameless, you're blamed. That's right. And, and, you, Bishop and, and you pastoring a church? Mm. Amen. You can't say you have an unadulterated gospel and you living in adultery with a second, third, fourth, fifth wife. That's right. Bishop. That's right. You're not blameless, no. you're blamed. I don't care if you call yourself apostolic, Pentecostal, non-denominational, I don't care if Gabriel came That's right. and gave you, and you borrowed one of his robes. <laughs> Amen. And now the robe is so powerful, you never drive to church. You glide. My Lord. Amen. Amen. The moment you step out your bed, you glide all the way to the pulpit. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. On your way to the pulpit, this still is written. A bishop then must be blameless. You still got to be blameless, the husband of one wife. If you marry, you only allow one wife. One wife. Can't get another until the first one die. That's right. Can't get another until the first one die. That's right. And you can't kill her. <laughs> no. Amen. 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 
All right, son. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. What else? Vigilant. Got to be vigilant. Always on the job. Amen. Eh? Sober. Stable-minded. That's right. Mm -hmm. Of good behavior. You got to behave. Given the hospital. Yeah, you got to behave. Good behavior. You're not a pimp at the job. <laughs> That's right. Good behavior. You got to be good behavior. Good behavior. And that means your behavior fall in line with the scriptures. That's right. All right. Given the hospitality. You're very hospitable. Mm -hmm. Know how to treat people. Know how to deal with people. That's right. Uh -huh. Act to teach. Dumb. Act to teach. No, just stupid. Act to teach. Amen. Act to teach. You got to know how to teach. That's right. That's right. After. And for you to know how to teach, you got to be a Bible interpreter. Amen. Breaking down the language of God yeah. to make all men see. Amen. What is the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ? That's right. Able to, to teach. teach. After teach. You got to be able to teach. That's right. Not just get up and hold the people for three hours and all you did was give a testimony. <laughs> Amen. And, Amen. Just, and just quote songs. Yeah. They ain't teaching. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. The save a wretch like me. I once was lost and now I'm found. I was blind and now I see. You ain't preaching. That's not preaching. You just giving a solo. That's right. That's right. After, after teach. They teach. They teach. When the writing came on the walls in the book of Daniel, mm -hmm. he broke it down. Meaning, meaning to tell you false sin. Then he gave the, the definition, the interpretation of it. That's right. When you go into the language of scripture, you must break it down. Yeah. Have to teach. Have to teach. Break it down. Make me see it. Make me comprehend yeah. what the apostle said, what the prophet said, what Jesus said. That's right. Have to teach. Have to teach. And seminary school don't make you have to teach. No. All right. Not given to wine. What? Not given to wine. Then your bishop shouldn't be smelling like an entire barrel of alcohol. That's right. Not giving to Sweat wine. so much, but he sweat Budweiser. My Lord. Shouldn't find a bar in the bishop's house. That's right. That's right. Bishop shouldn't be in the AA like the Catholic priest. No. Eh? Not given to wine. Amen. Not given to wine. He got wine and spirits. Yeah. You're supposed to be filled with the spirit of God. That's not right. drinking wine and spirits. That's right. You old drunken bishop. Amen. Viewers, your bishop, he got a drinking problem. Yeah. He's not a bishop. That's right. He got to get up the pulpit and sit down. That's right. Huh? Not given to wine. You mean to tell me you're going to have a bishop over you oh. who got an alcoholic problem? My Lord. The Holy Ghost said. Not given to wine. Not drinking. That's right. If it says not given to wine, that means you can't be a drinker. That's right. You old drunk. Drunk. Drank so much until it changed the texture of his skin. Amen. He, he don't even need uh, uh, lotion. The, the alcohol <laughs> got his skin looking like uh, pig's fat. <laughs> it shines. Shining. That's right. Greasy. You would think he done put bacon grease all over his face. That's right. Just shining. Shining. That's right. Drunken bishop. Amen. Many of you watching, many of you deacons watching, you drink with your bishop. Mm -hmm. Amen. He got a bottle in his back pocket yeah. or got a bottle in his briefcase yeah. or got a bottle right in the glove compartment of his car. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Listen at this. Not given to wine. Not given to wine. No striker. Wait. Hmm. Bishop can't be violent. That's right. He can't strike with his hands and he can't strike back at the word of God with his mouth. That's right. When the word of God says something, it ain't no need to him to try to get a scripture to justify his wrong. No. He's going to take the Bible to fight back at the Bible. Amen. Uh -uh, no striker. No you got to give up, give in, and accept the submission hole of God and tap out. That's right. Eh? No striker. Glory to God. No striker. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Well, you might as well empty practically every pulpit in the world. That's right. You can't love money. That's right. You can't love money. Not greedy. Greedy. A filthy lucre. No false prophet deserved to get nothing from a congregation. That's right. Nothing. That's right. But if you got a true man of God and the church wants to do something, then that man of God shouldn't put a price on your head and tell you, all right, you come along now. You want to do something for me? You bring $1,000 ahead. Mm. Greedy. You old greedy dog. Greedy. 
That's what I don't like about you, Pastor Jennings. You see, you was doing all right till you made that statement, <laughs> greedy dog. You ain't had to say that. Isaiah chapter 56 and at verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Do you hear the Bible? Amen. Let's see who it's talking about. Isaiah chapter 56, we'll start at verse 10. Says what? His watchmen are blind. The preacher are blind. They are all ignorant. All dumb. Don't are, know the Bible. They're all ignorant. That's right. They are all dumb dogs. They are dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Can't preach. Sleeping. Lazy. Lying down. Lying down. Loving, loving the slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. Greedy things. Which can never have they enough. They can never have enough. That's why they have so many prayer lines <laughs> with money. That's right. Greedy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, hundred thousand dollar prayer lines. That's true. The prosperity trash because they are greedy dogs. Greedy dogs which can never have enough. Yeah, I don't care what you do for them. They are never satisfied. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They are pastors that have no understanding of scripture. They all look to their own way. The only thing they look is for their own gain. Everyone for his Everyone gain. Everyone for his gain. From his quarter. From his quarter. Come ye say they. Look at this. I will fetch wine. Look at what? <laughs> Come ye say they. What the greedy dog say? Come ye say they, I will fetch one. Hey, viewer, mm. have you and your bishop, have your bishop took you out on a date? That's right. And ordered a bottle of wine? That's right. Mm. Hey, you, deacon, and brothers in your church, Amen. have you and the elders and the preachers and the deacons got together? Yeah. Order some wine? That's and right. bishop said, well, ain't nothing wrong with it. As long as you don't overindulge, we will drink in moderation. <laughs> That's right. What they say. Forget all about the Bible, one is a mark and strong right. drink and rage and the heat that's deceived or tricked thereby. Okay. God said you're not wise. That's right. Amen. What did he say? Come ye say they, I will fetch one. I will fetch one. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Oh, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get into it. And tomorrow. And uh, the next day. Shall be as this day. We're going to keep it up. And much more abundant. You see that? Isaiah 56 and verse 12. Tomorrow. Amen. It's going to be like this day. And much more abundantly. And more abundantly. Amen. All right, go back to the book of Timothy and follow me and get me now. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse, eight, at verse 3. All right. Not given to wine. Not given to wine, bishop. No striker. Can't be a fighter. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Can't love money. But patient. Take your time. Amen. You're not in a hurry to get up in the pulpit. That's right. You're not bugging the apostle. Bugging Is it, you going to let me preach? You going to let me preach? Oh, I take it. I take it. I take it over. <laughs> That's right. Anytime someone is anxious to get up here, That's guaranteed right. they're going to make a mess after they get up here. Amen. What you're so anxious to preach for? Learn first. That's it. Get something in you. That's right. Then you have something to tell the people. That's right. This ain't preaching. Glory to God. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. No. Let the church say amen. No. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. No. Shut up. That's right. That's right. Just shut up. Amen. I will say after teach. After teach. You teach and then give me something to say amen to. That's right. Get up there and make all that noise like you're your own cheerleader. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. What did he say? But patient. Patient. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. He, we know a brawler, he's quick tempered. Oh, yeah. He can't take chastisement, can't take rebuke. He get up and take the Bible to fight the Bible. That's right. That's right. When you're a bishop with the qualification with the scripture, mm -hmm. you'll be humble. Amen. Now, you, I want you to pay attention now. Pay attention to these bishop qualifications mm -hmm. because we're about to go to the likewise and get the deacons. That's right. And it's going to show you it is not an ordinary office. That's right. It's an extraordinary office. Amen. Listen. Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy loop. Can't love money. But patient. Patient. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. Not covetous. He don't desire no one else's nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One that ruleth well his own house. He's not a henpeck. That's right. That's right. You roll your own house. You're not a henpeck. Amen. A henpeck man ain't fit to be ordained over nothing. No. You got to get your manhood in place first. That's right. That's man, right. when you're a henpeck and when your wife got to complain about some sisters in the church, a henpeck will make that his text that Sunday. Yeah. Then you lie and say, God showed me. God ain't showed you nothing. Your <laughs> old wife is whining to you. That's right. You old henpeck. It's a henpeck. You're just britches. Amen. You are waste. Yeah. Being recycled by the devil. That's right. Any man who got a wife and you're supposed to be leading people and your wife is complaining about people in the church and then you get up that Sunday or next Sunday and then you want to satisfy your wife by trying to act like the Lord that showed you something through discernment. Amen. 
You old fraud. That's a fraud. You henpeck. That's right. You coward. Yeah. You weakling. Amen. You spineless, low life, hypocrite, good for nothing as a poor excuse of a bishop. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. He ain't really no preacher. He's a figurehead. Yeah. His wife run the church. That's right. His wife said, won't you stop that in the church? He stopped it. Mm -hmm. His wife said, listen, I was thinking about this. You need to bring that to an end. Yeah. Thanks. We, uh, the law was dealing with me, and I was thinking about this. We're going to bring this to an end. No, he's his wife's puppet. That's right. That goes for any ministers in First Church. That's right. I don't care if I did send you somewhere. <laughs> if your wife is your boss, you're fired. Fired. You old henpeck heathen. That's right. That's right. You's a henpeck heathen. That's a henpeck. Amen. Hey man, you's a henpeck heathen and a heathen henpeck. Amen. Hey man, gotta hey lock it down no matter what direction it lock is. Lock it down. All right, come what, on. One that ruleth well his own house. You rule well your own house. The children don't boss you. That's right. Hey Amen. Children ain't born to set the rules in your house. Yeah. If they want to set rules, they move out and get your own house. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. I don't like the rules here. Oop, there it is. <laughs> get the door and use it. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't like the rules in here. Oop, there it is. <laughs> get that door. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. Oh, well, Dad, I feel as though you don't love me. Don't love you. Listen, if you don't like the rules here, then get your own roof. Make your own rules. Yeah. Otherwise than that, if mother or father set a curfew, you got to abide by it. Unless you got a job that got you working past that time. That's right. But you just out hanging out. Yeah. Well, I'm a man. Act like it and get your own roof. Amen. That's it. Otherwise than that, you might as well sit down and shut your mouth and come back to the Bible. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. 